was me. I am Spartacus. Hey, Ned. We really miss all of your adventures in Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. You were an important part of lots of kids' teenage years because middle school is no joke. We really learned a lot about surviving junior high from you, Cookie and Moe's. We wonder what you all are up to these days. Are you and Moe's still together? Is Cookie a super successful computer programmer? And were things always perfect on the set of the show? Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide was a hit show on Nickelodeon from 2003 to 2007. But like every show, there are plenty of secrets and things Nickelodeon doesn't want you to know. Keep watching to find out all the secrets, including which star has a not-so-family-friendly reputation. Why do you guys hang out? You're total opposites. He keeps me centered. The Failed Spinoff Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide wasn't Nickelodeon's most popular show in the early 2000s, but it was still loved by a lot of fans. The show was definitely over the top with all of Ned's adventures, but a lot of it felt really familiar to kids because it dealt with a lot of common middle school issues. Nickelodeon considered continuing Ned's Declassified with kids going into high school. In fact, they even shot a pilot episode of the new show. Devin Werkheiser, who played Ned, signed a contract for this new series. It would have been called Ned's Declassified High School Survival Guide. It's not clear what other characters would have continued on, but many have committed to other projects. Nickelodeon ultimately decided not to pick up the spin-off series, but we have to admit, we would have loved it. We could have seen Ned and Moe's relationship develop. High school has a lot of challenges, like trying to fit in with new social groups. Ned and the others could have helped a lot of kids navigate high school. Coconut Head's Unfinished Business Coconut Head is one of the most memorable Nickelodeon characters ever. Played by Rob Pinkston, Coconut Head was a nerdy, dramatic kid with really peculiar hair. He was always getting into various shenanigans on the show. His hair looked a lot like he was wearing a coconut shell, which is why he was called that. In fact, did you know that Coconut Head didn't have a real name on the show? Certain fan sites claim he did, but the actor says he was always just Coconut Head. There was originally supposed to be a surprise storyline for his character at the end of the show or in a spin-off movie, he was supposed to get a new cool haircut. He was going to come back to school and become super popular. It never happened, and Rob is glad it didn't. He likes playing a character that lets kids know it's okay to be different as long as you're being yourself. It would have been a funny sight to see him with new hair though. Missy Not So Meanie Missy Meanie was played by Carly Casey. Missy was a super popular cheerleader on Ned's Declassified, but she is not nice at all. She is a total mean girl who lives up to her name. She lies and cheats. She'll do anything to get her way. Well, I am not Spartacus. Okay. For part of the show, she has a huge crush on Ned. It's obsessive and awkward, but she ends up with Crony in the finale. She also starts a club that is a ripoff of Ned's guidebook. The club is full of terrible ways to survive school, but Carly Casey is nothing like that. In fact, she is still great friends with Devin Werkheiser. He's also really good friends with Carly's boyfriend. They worked on charity together and went to Nepal to build a school. Carly also appeared in one of Devin's music videos. It's hard to separate characters from the actors when we love a show so much. Much, but we were really glad to know that Carly is nothing like Missy Meany. Where they are now. It's easy for fans of Ned's Declassified to imagine all the characters growing up and having fun, awesome lives. But the actors who played them are very different people. Some of the actors from the show have continued acting, but others' lives took a totally different turn. Remember Lisa Zemo? She was the girl who Cookie hated at first, but eventually had a crush on. She was played by Rachel Sibner. And Rachel hasn't done any acting since the show ended. She was in one short film that same year that Ned's Declassified went off the air. No one really knows what she's up to these days besides doing some charity work. Evelyn Kwong was played by Michelle Kim. She also didn't continue acting and is now a photojournalist. The saddest story about one of the show's actors is Mr. Wright. Messack Taylor was a successful and talented actor. He even won an Emmy, but he sadly passed away in 2014. Varied content. In October 2019, a journalist at the Michigan Daily Newspaper wrote an investigative article about Ned's Declassified. She was a fan of the show and she went looking to stream it, but the show is nearly impossible to find online without paying by episode. A few years ago, it was available on Netflix for a short amount of time, but now it's only on Amazon and you have to pay for each episode or season. The journalist, Allie Owens, wanted to know why. Other Nickelodeon shows from that time are easy to find and watch. She thinks that Nickelodeon is trying to bury the show. 
Big Time Rush from the same creators wasn't nearly as popular as Ned's Declassified, but it's on Hulu. Here's the thing about Ned's Declassified, though. It wasn't all that popular compared to other shows, it didn't get a lot of Kids' Choice Awards, and some of the storylines might be problematic in today's world. But the show still had a lot of wholesome content, and she thinks kids could use a show like Ned's Declassified these days. Do you love nostalgic content? Well, so do we. We post videos about old Disney Channel and Nickelodeon TV shows and movies. Subscribe to The Things for more awesome throwback videos. If you're watching on your phone or tablet, make sure you have your notifications enabled in settings. Then you'll never miss another video. Real Life Love Story on Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, we saw Ned deal with a lot of issues, and like a lot of teenagers, he had problems with his love life. He spent most of the show pining over Susie Crabgrass, and they even dated for a while. But fans always shipped him with his BFF, Moe's. In the last episode, he had to choose between Moe's and Susie. Everyone was so glad he picked Moe's. But here's something you might not know. They dated in real life, too. Devin Werkheiser and Lindsay Shaw got super close while they were filming the series. They dated each other for about a year after the show wrapped up. Devin has said that Lindsay was his first love. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? They may not be together anymore, but they are still good friends. They talk a few times a year and still grab lunch to catch up. Devin says he makes a point to hang out with Lindsay at least once a year. We love that they are still such great friends. Keep watching to find out what has really happened to Susie Crabgrass. Wig Secrets Coconut Head's hair had a lot of secrets, and some of them are really surprising. His hair was always such a funny part of the show. The show's producers asked Rob Pinkston to shave his head for the role so he could wear a wig. He was happy to shave his head. He had a bowl cut at the time and was glad to get rid of it. Also, his hair wasn't supposed to look like that at all. It was originally supposed to be really spiky. We can't imagine Coconut Head with different hair. Rob said the wig fell off all the time when they were filming. And there were two wigs. He had a special wig for stunts so the regular one wouldn't get messed up. Rob was quite the jokester on set. He used to pretend to have a conversation with a tiny man in his wig. It became a running joke, and the other cast members would talk to his wig, too. That wig was an important part of Rob's childhood. He wasn't supposed to, but he stole the wig when the show ended. He still has it. Wilderness Man One of the stars of Ned's Declassified has gone, well, wild. But we weren't talking about partying or illegal activity. We were talking about becoming a total wilderness man. Do you remember Billy Loomer? Maybe you're just a girl's room. <laughs> He was a big bully of the show. He led a trio of bullies at school. Loomer was played by Kyle Swan, who is a total opposite of a bully. He and Devin have been good friends ever since the show. Like some of the other actors, Kyle quit acting after the show concluded. He went to college to study marine biology. He's apparently super smart. Then he moved to New Zealand. He goes scuba diving with sharks, he does underwater photography, and shoots underwater nature documentaries. And he totally looks the part. Look at that awesome wild beard. He and Devin still see each other whenever Kyle comes back to the States to visit. That is definitely something we never would have expected of Billy Loomer. Ned's Guide to Your 20s the cast of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide is all grown up these days. They are learning how to navigate adulthood. And let's be honest, learning to be an adult is hard work. Recently, Devin Werkheiser tweeted to ask if anyone would be interested in a Ned's Declassified revival. He said he could use a guide on how to balance life as a 20-something-year-old. Fans were totally behind the idea. Devin said he would see what he could do. Now, there is no confirmation that a revival is happening, but Netflix and Nickelodeon have recently merged to create a bunch of new shows shows based on some of their older nostalgic content. And we are here for it. We know Disney Plus is doing something similar with Lizzie McGuire. We would love to see Nickelodeon give us an update on Ned, Moe's, Cookie, and Coconut Head. It would be awesome. Devin definitely seems down for it. We wonder if that tweet is a sneaky way to see if fans would watch a reboot. Susie's R-Rated Future Susie Crabgrass is one of Moe's best friends and Ned's love interest for most of the show. Surprise! I moved in! She was played by Christian Cerritos. Christian is probably the most successful actress from Ned's Declassified, and thankfully, the cast of the show has avoided the scandals that a lot of former child stars have. But Christian has definitely gotten rid of her Nickelodeon wholesome image. She is known for playing Rosita Espinosa in The Walking Dead. That show couldn't be further from what Ned's Declassified was. But in 2015, 
Christian really got rid of the family-friendly vibe. She posed for a famous adult magazine. She was in the after-hours section of the magazine. While she didn't bear it all, if you know what we mean, her poses were definitely suggestive. Christian became a series regular on The Walking Dead after fans fell in love with her character. She's also going to play Selena Quintanilla in an upcoming series about the late singer. We think it's awesome that Susie Crabgrass has grown up to be so successful. What's your favorite Dance Declassified Survival Guide moment? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button if you are a Ned's Declassified fan. See you next time.